This morning we're getting a unique and personal look at Jackie Kennedy. It comes from newly uncovered letters she wrote to an Irish priest. Mrs. Kennedy opened up about her husband, her temptations, the assassination, and her faith. Mark Phillips is in London where the correspondence that spanned more than a decade. Mark, good morning. Good morning. Well, they're not so much letters as they are a series of confessions to a priest, not of sin, but of doubt. Jacqueline Bouvier, as she was when she first started writing and later as Jackie Kennedy, has provided an insight into her personality and that of her husband that the world has never had before. The letters were written to an Irish priest, Father Joseph Leonard, who Jackie got to know before she married JFK. The first notes written on Jacqueline Bouvier's stationery date back to 1950. The correspondence would continue for 14 years. And it tells of a woman who became enthralled by a young, ambitious politician named Jack Kennedy. The relationship provided, she said, an amazing insight on politicians. They really are a breed apart. The letters amount to the autobiography Jackie never wrote. Of the early years of the relationship, she says she was just dazzled and pictured herself in a glittering world of crown heads and men of destiny, as she put it, and not just a sad little housewife. This is a great window into her soul as a human being and the struggles she had and the triumphs she had with her husband. And so according to historians like Douglas Brinkley, the, the letters reveal the inner doubts Jackie had from very early stages of the marriage. That JFK had a roving eye, something she had seen in her father. I think the most important quote that has thus far surfaced from this batch of letters is Jackie Kennedy connecting her husband to her father. Uh, and saying both of them had a, had a sense of enjoying the chase in life, particularly with women, but didn't have the stability. And she saw um, that that was destroying, in many ways, her mother, and she feared the same fate in life. Fate, of course, would play a devastating role in Jackie Kennedy's life. The JFK assassination cast her as a shocked and widowed mother. She became, in many ways, the grieved face of the nation. The letters show she also became someone who began to doubt her faith. God, she said, would have a bit of explaining to do to me if I ever see him. The excerpts of the letters really point to a, a loneliness, which is one of the great diseases of America, and it's particularly a disease of a Washington, D.C. Um, power wife. The letters ceased when Father Leonard died in 1964. Jackie Kennedy has always been a familiar, yet a mysterious figure. Now there's a little less mystery about her. The archive of letters goes on sale at auction in Ireland next month, and they're expected to draw a big price. Nora? All right, Mark, thank you. You know, when people do what we do, they always ask us, um, who would you most like to have talked to either yeah. dead, or who would you most like to talk to alive? Hope Francis is at the top of everybody's list. But she would be one of the people on my short list because yeah. of the light that she lived and what she knew you know, and unfortunately, her own oral mm -hmm. biography uh, will not be released for a number she, of years. She never sat down. As fascinating as we all want to hear, myself included, there's something not right about letters you write to a priest. Now everybody gets to see. That troubles me a little that. bit. All right. Should be private.